In the past, a family of hunters lived in a forest all year round. The hunter had a great hatred with the animals in the woods. However, many years ago, a strange thing happened during a rare snowstorm in winter. A majestic and mighty tiger was walking in the cold wind, holding a dead hare in its mouth, and it walked towards the only house in the forest. That was the hunter's home. After walking to the door, the tiger placed the hare at the door of the hunter's house, and then slowly turned, and left. Why was this tiger in front of that hunter's gate? What exactly happened? The hunter, named Aaron, had hunted for generations for a living. One September afternoon, Aaron packed his usual gear, said goodbye to his wife, and headed out into the mountains to hunt alone. Just as Aaron was walking quietly, he suddenly heard a voice from the front left, so he quickly drew his weapon behind him, and relied on years of hunting experience to guess that there was a deer to his left. Aaron moved slowly towards the bushes, he saw a deer behind the bushes eating wild fruit on the ground, and there were no other deer beside him. He continued to observe the surrounding situation, and after finding no problems, he quickly subdued the deer. He expertly tied the deer up and ready to go home. However, as Aaron was on his way back, he suddenly heard a strange sound. Aaron picked up his weapon, and walked in the direction of the sound. Suddenly Aaron saw a small cave with a faint ray of sunlight. Aaron saw an animal lying in the cave, but he didn't know what species it was. Driven by curiosity, he boldly walked into the cave with the weapon in his hand. As he walked into the cave, he realized that it was actually a tiger. Only after he looked carefully did he realize that the tigress was having a difficult labor. Seeing this, Aaron hesitated. He had delivered dogs, so he did know something about that. But it was a tiger, so he was a little scared. If the tiger attacked Aaron, he had no hope of surviving. After hesitating for a long time, Aaron finally made up his mind. He first gestured to the tigress outside the cave, and the tigress seemed to understand what he meant, so it didn't stare at him fiercely. Aaron, who saw this scene, tentatively walked to the tigress. The tigress didn't respond, so Aaron delivered the tigress. The little tiger cub's head was about to be exposed, but it seemed to be stuck. Aaron carefully grabbed the little tiger cub with its head out and pulled it up gently, and after a while the front legs of the little tiger were exposed. Seeing this, Aaron knew that he was not far from success, so he gently dragged the cub while soothing the distressed tigress. Gradually the first little tiger was born, and then everything went smoothly. With the help of Aaron, the tigress gave birth to three cubs. Then Aaron walked over to the deer, and dragged the deer in the direction of the cave. After reaching the entrance of the cave, Aaron took out his knife, and cut off the deer's head directly, and then threw it into the cave. The deer head rolled directly in front of the tigress. Then Aaron took the deer home without much thought. By then the moon had risen and Aaron had finally returned home. Aaron's wife noticed that the deer had no head, so she asked Aaron. Aaron laughed and told his wife that he gave birth to the tiger. Aaron then chatted with his wife while cleaning the deer. He didn't go to rest until the deer was completely cleaned. The next day Aaron went into the mountains again to hunt. That time he wandered in the mountains for a long time and only hunted three hares. Aaron suddenly remembered the tigress that had been in childbirth. Since he had never delivered a tiger, he was quite concerned about that day. Thinking of the distressed tigress and the cubs, Aaron couldn't hold back his curiosity any longer and wanted to go take a look. So he walked towards the cave. At that time, Aaron was getting closer and closer to the entrance of the cave, and there was still no movement in the cave. Then Aaron moved to the entrance of the cave and looked inside. The tigress was resting on the ground. At that time Aaron didn't even notice a small rock under his feet. 
he accidentally kicked the small rock, which rolled quickly into the cave. When the tigress heard the movement, it let out a roar and stunned Eren to the ground. The tigress lunged in front of Eren. It looked at Eren without hurting him, then turned and walked towards the cave. Eren was startled, but felt that the tigress didn't hurt him, and wanted to leave quickly. Then he thought of the hare he had just hunted, took out one and threw it into the cave, then turned and walked away quickly. After that, Eren went out hunting as usual, but didn't go to see the tigresses in the cave. Soon, three years had passed, that day, Eren prepared tools early, and after saying goodbye to his wife, he went to hunt in the mountains. It was winter, and Eren went hunting in the mountains hoping to find enough food for their family to survive the winter. Eren had been moving cautiously in the mountains, and suddenly he saw a small wild boar. Although the wild boar was not enough food for the Eren family for the winter, it was the only prey he saw that day. Eren killed it without hesitation. Then Eren walked to the wild boar, and skillfully tied the wild boar, and then continued to walk in the mountains with the wild boar. After that, however, he found nothing. Eren had no choice but to return home with the wild boar. After returning home, Eren told his wife that the weather was getting colder and colder, and he could not find more prey, so he could only try again tomorrow. However, not everything went smoothly. A rare snowstorm hit that night, the wind was blowing violently, and the snowflakes rolled up like knives, making it impossible to go out at all. The next day, the snow did not stop. Eren opened the door cautiously and braved the snow to clear the snow that had accumulated in front of the door. If the snow continued to accumulate at that time, they would not be able to go out at all. Time flies, seven days passed. Watching the food at home dwindle, Eren felt anxious. The snow didn't stop then, but if they had no more food, they would starve. In those harsh winters, starvation was life-threatening. Eren, who watched the sky darken, made a decision. Early the next morning, with the snow still falling outside, Eren brought his hunting gear. His wife hadn't woken up yet, and he quietly opened the door and prepared to go out. As soon as he opened the door, he looked down and saw a hare that was frozen stiff. Eren was stunned for a moment, not knowing what was going on. He brought the hare into the house, and he and his wife had a good meal. After that, the strange things did not stop. Eren and his wife saw some frozen animals at the door every day, such as wild ducks or pheasants. Eren began to scrutinize the frozen animals at his door, and even had an idea. But he didn't tell his wife about his guess. That night the blizzard subsided, and his wife suddenly asked him to see who had put the food on their doorstep. Eren and his wife waited a long time and fell asleep, at that moment, Eren heard a strange voice, and he was instantly refreshed. Then he looked at his wife, and woke her up. Then he looked out the window, and after looking for a long time, he realized that there was a tiger in the snow. Across the wind and snow, he could only see something in the tiger's mouth, but he didn't know what it was. At that time Aaron's wife also saw the tiger and showed a horrified expression. After the tiger left, Eren opened the door and saw a hare lying in the door, so he took it into the house. At that time his wife was also confused and asked Eren. But he didn't tell his wife what he thought, just perfunctory her. After a few days, the blizzard finally stopped. The tiger brought them food every day these days. Eren hurriedly walked towards the forest when the snowstorm stopped. That time his destination was the cave where he had encountered the tiger. Eren boldly entered the cave where the tigress was lying. The tigress did not attack Eren after seeing him. That's when Eren finally realized that it was the tigress who saved them. After leaving, Eren bowed deeply in the direction of the cave, 
thanking the tigress for saving them. There are many stories of animals repaying their kindness, or animals and people helping each other. If we treat all creatures in this world equally and live in harmony with nature, the earth will be a better place, and we will benefit greatly. This is today's story. Click to subscribe for more interesting stories.